Welcome to the first episode of Theory Crafting with Flame. So, my goal in this series is to come up with a unique deck of sorts and try it out, not on ladder because I would rather not just, you know, tank at four, but in casual. MMR makes sure that I still face people of my own caliber. So, I came up with this deck. It's not super unique because this guy right here is the main focus of the whole deck. His name is Shadow Bomber. Battle cry deal three damage to each hero. So the idea is the enemy's HP total is much more important than your own. So this is basically like Lepernome, except his battle cry is what goes off instead of the death rattle. So it's super aggro, it's meant to do all face damage. Hence the uh, the chargers. There are elements of the deck that are more stable, but most of it is aggro. So to take a quick roll call, we have Abusive Sergeant, just, you know, plus two attack, puts a body on board. Basic stuff. Lepronome, deal damage, Shadow Bomber, obviously. Mind Blast, it's like a fireball to the face, but only to the face. So it works fairly well. Uh, Pain, I am on the fence about this card. It works fairly well in that it controls the board and it protects your early stuff so that cards like uh, Direwolf Alpha can start taking effect for the plus two attack. It's like Abuse of Sergeant but it's a constant effect. Um, RNB Cowl just to get by taunts basically or to uh, nullify big creatures. Knife Juggler just constant damage over time with uh, all your smaller cards. Velm's Chosen just extra damage and it makes the cards more stable because when you go up against classes that can deal one damage, Rogue, Druid, Mage, uh, these guys just die. But if you can Velm's Chosen it, it becomes three attack and more stable. And then you can start buffing it with other things to deal quicker damage. Arcane Golem, again just face damage. Dark Cultist, a stable, a stable card and it makes your smaller creatures stable as well. Wolf Rider, Again, just a charger. Just more face damage. Akanai, uh, it's fairly stable. I'm thinking of cutting it, but... It does deal more damage with hero power. It turns your hero power into shadow form, basically. Um, a card that I did have in this deck, but I cut because it just costs too much mana. It's way too slow. Um, Enhanced Meccano, you should have a decent number of small guys on board, and if you can hit it with an Enhanced, it uh, becomes pretty ridiculous. Obviously, you want Wind Fury, but it's a toss up. Shredder for some s stability on board, and Holy Fire just, again, as a finisher. It's like uh, another two copies of Mind Blast, basically. Okay, so that's the deck list. Let's try it out, shall we? Casual Shadow Bomb. So this deck is fairly unstable, as most face decks are. It doesn't have steam like uh, Hunter does, because Hunter has the ability to deal, deal two damage every turn with the hero power, you know, without any help. So in that sense, this deck is weaker, but I've never seen anybody try it. I mean, the card lends itself to a face deck, but it's weird that nobody's tried it yet. So we want one drops. We can keep Juggler, though. He synergizes well with the uh, one drops. Okay, didn't get any. So right now it's looking like Juggler on two following up with whatever. Akanine 4, that most likely won't happen. There's so many one drops in the deck. It's actually kind of unfortunate not to get any in the opening hand. But, such is the way with uh, Agra. Looks like Handlock. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a rough start. <laughs> this handlock must be going, what? Why is there a juggler in this priest deck? Yeah, he's definitely a handlock. The MVP in this matchup is actually Mind Blast, because once he puts up his big taunts with only 10 health or so, if you can get like a Mind Blast plus a Holy Fire, that's just GG, or double Mind Blast. So we really need to draw into those cards. Owl would be nice. Shredder. Unfortunately, against Handlock, with any kind of face deck, you kind of have to just go for it. If he has Moltens, he has Moltens. There's nothing you can do about it. So many possibilities. What you do have to worry about, though, is uh, Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame can definitely be an issue. Or Hellfire. To each his own. I just need those Mind Blasts. He's so low already. Enhance up. Right after he burns my board, that's unfortunate. Again, if he has them, he has them. If uh, this game goes on, the longer this game goes on, the more likely it is that he's going to win. So I most mostly just have to hope for the best. Damn. That does mean that he doesn't have mold and stuff, which is very good. And he didn't kill off any of my creatures. Ooh. So I can Shadow Bomber enhance up to give Shadow Bomber something. Or I can pain that enhance up. The reason painting that is good is Shadow Flame. If he has Shadow Flame, it gives him another target. I think I like getting something else with the Enhanced though. What do we get? No! I got Wind Fury on the only one that can't attack this turn. I think, uh, what if I got Wind Fury on all of them for 8? That would have been one off. As it stands, I should probably kill these off. Yeah, that was a pretty awful enhancer. Huh? Wind Fury on even one of them would have been great. As long as he doesn't have another board clear? Is that Shadow Flame? There it is. Damn. You see, this deck does have some stability. Surprisingly. It's holding its own against Handlock. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have any Moltens, but... Even so. I just need to draw into the Mind Blasts. And Holy Fires. He might be playing the variation that does 20 damage in one turn with the arcane golems. Just for 
difficult to say though. If that was a Mind Blast or a Holy Fire, I would have just won. That's kind of rough. He already used one Shadow Flame as well. So it's unlikely that he has another in hand or in the deck to hit that 8-8. He already used Hellfire as well. He might have another heal bot in hand, but I've done a ton of damage to him so, so, so far. Okay. So that's a 20% chance or so to draw him to lethal. Depending on what he does. Taunt. Yeah. Okay. It's four cards. There's a winner for me. Damn, that's not one of them. That's so close. That's why we put the owl in here, though. One off lethal. He can't tap anymore. His uh, hand is looking pretty empty. He can clear. Well played. You face Jaraxxus. So close. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. May as well be though. Jiraxis is pretty much GG. Yeah. One damage off. I was uh, so close. Like the entire game. That sucks. So close, one damage off. The entire game. Oh well. Entire game goes because not one damage. But you see why Mind Blast and Holy Fire are strong in the deck. Just dealing that little bit of extra damage that I need. Paladin. I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. Yeah, it charges in the deck too. They could have won it for me. Huh. That was actually really unlucky. So against Paladin, I don't think this deck does too great. Because of all the heal he has. I'm keeping pain for the shielded mini bot. Or the zombie chow. I'm gonna try and be fast. Hopefully, he doesn't have the mini bot follow up. Thank you. Only two drop we have so far. Damn. This guy's got a really good opening hand. Chow into Cog Hammer. Stand 
ready. My fate is sealed. Yeah, I can't play Abusive Sergeant. It just dies to the 1-1. One, one. I want to get the Enhancer off on more than two guys if possible. It's mm. another reason I held the Abusive. Buff up Abusive with uh, Divine Shield would be nice. Even Wind Fury. Okay, well. Now he doesn't die. Okay, that's fine. I'll trade. This guy seems to be playing fairly aggressive deck himself. Yeah, I can't play juggler, unfortunately. Divine shield. Again, taunt is pretty much useless. This is just a consecration board for him. Oh, he doesn't have it. It's not bad. Reporting for duty. I think I'd rather not play juggler. My fate is and just go face with that. I'm having a really hard time drawing into my pure damage. That's why I haven't started going face at all. My mind blast on my holy fire. Reporting for duty. Yeah, I basically ran out of steam. I don't have any board clear in this deck. Yeah, there were a bunch of good targets. That was one of them. Nerebar actually might keep him from playing some cards too. Guardian of Kings is unplayable right now for him. Unless he decides to sack it, which is... Yeah, he just did. And there's the heal. Yeah. The reason this uh, matchup is so difficult. Wow. Very greedy. And we have to go for value too. I feel like if Enhancer was slightly better. This game would be going a lot better. Getting double taunt is unfortunate. Yeah, and there's a holy fire. Uh, he's at too high of HP for me to go face. Well played. This is pretty much over. Once he floods Borden. It gets obvious he's going to win. Yeah, I don't have any answer for Tyrion. <laughs> A little late. Let 
Okay. Well, right now we're zero two. The game against the Paladin was a little bit lopsided, but I had a lot of outs versus the Handlock, like a lot, and I didn't draw into any of them, which is hmm, somewhat unlucky. That's not a bad opening hand. Ooh. I think I'm gonna toss Wolf Rider. The rest is good though. Oh my god. Okay, Mech Mage versus a uh, Face Priest. The question is, do I coin out another one? I could wait till next turn juggler coin leper. Must consider. I'm not sure what's better here, actually. On two of the. You know what? I'm an aggro deck. I'm gonna be aggressive. Is he going to trade? No. I'm going to trade out a little bit of face damage for uh, potential knives. I don't think Mech Mage usually keeps Frostbolt in their opening hand. Yeah, so this is safe. Oh my god. Nice, go face, get him. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was looking like I was going to win anyway, but I guess that's our first win. Not bad. <laughs> that was a lot of aggro. I guess his hand must have been awful. But that was going extremely well. <laughs> one Shadow Bomber, Coin Leper. That's about as good as it gets with this deck. Okay, this might be difficult. Do I keep Dog? No, toss Dog. I'll try for a one draw. Backstabs, Eviscerate, Shiv, even Hero Power. But if he does Hero Power and start poking stuff off himself, good top deck. He is taking face damage at the same time. So it's not awful. Do I Mind Blast now? I think I do. Already at 20. <laughs> SI. This guy's toes. That's fine. Pain plus leper. I'm living off the top of the deck right now. I want to keep Wolf Rider for uh, a buff receiver. Play this with an, an abusive, and that's five damage. That's like another mind blast. Nice, he's taking a face. And Pilot of Shredder is very sticky as well. Half health. 
I just need to draw well. Is that a sap? It is too, wow. What the hell? Oh, that's a big bank leaf. Again, I want this to be a receiver of buffs. Hopefully he should have difficulty with Pilot Shredder. Okay. And he's using it to clear. Okay, I'm just gonna play it now. Damn. One knife face would have been nice. That puts him at five for the holy fire. That draw. And a backstab. That's bad. He's low, but... Got an eight damage guy swinging at me too. Wind Fury wins it. Wind Fury, please. Yes. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. I can't believe this deck is winning. That's so good. That's such a difficult matchup for us too. Holy crap. Shadow Bomber Priest, man. New meta. One in three, and we won it. Okay, this is a very difficult matchup for us. For obvious reasons. Uh, Pain is actually very good. It kills Armor Smith as well as uh, Acolyte. I don't want that. I'll keep everything else, though. Uh, man, those Turmoil Zombie Chows are brutal. I guess I pain that. Everything in my hand is fairly high value. And this is a rough start, too. Axe. Warrior brutalizes us. He slowed down a little bit, but that thing is very sticky. I don't think I'm gonna get a better enhance though. The shadow us. So I'm just gonna do it right now. Taunt. He's an axe. You know, I don't care if he has cards. He can have cards if he wants them. I just care about his life total. 
if I can get two of those minions to stick, which might happen. Oh my god, that's good. I can put Dog in the center and start beating him down even more. Hopefully he doesn't have removal for those two. Cleave would be, uh... <laughs> Who even plays Cleave? Who even plays Cleave? Oh my god, that's bad. Yeah, bar Cleave. I was uh, in a very good position. I do have a Mind Blast. Another one in the deck, plus Holy Fire, too. Back to work. Is it just hoping for the juggle? Missed it. Whirlwind would be a disaster. Yeah, that's not much better. This guy's playing a very different, well, somewhat different deck. The juggler was unfortunate. It actually ended up getting him a lot of value. Yeah, again, we're probably going to get him close, but it'll take a lot to actually kill him. I'm guessing that he's playing shield maidens. They're pretty much a necessity. No heal, though. Arcane. Unfortunately, he no longer dies to Holy Fire. I don't think there's anything that can win it for me now. Mm, definitely not that. Oh well. It was close. With a Holy Fire top deck, I had him at 1. And without that cleave, I think I would have had it. Well, that cleave and... The juggler. The juggler that he got off of the pallid golem. Shredder, rather. It's ridiculous. Killed off two of my creatures by itself, just off the juggles. Oh well. What can you do? Shaman. We're getting the whole array of classes today. Pain. Do I keep pain against a shaman? He mulled everything. I'll mulligan hard for the ones as well. There's a one. Not a good one, but... It's something. And I can't coin anything out. It's a pretty bad opening hand, actually. Oh, well, that makes it better. The shadow us. Unfortunately, Shaman also does fairly well against this deck. There's at least six to eight types of removal that do very well. He's got Lightning Bolt, Crackle, Earth Shock. Lightning Storm. Although Shamans haven't been playing much in the way of Lightning Storm. 
I've seen some shaman decks completely cut it. Because it never has any target. This guy's either AFK or uh, doesn't have any good options. That's a decent option. The dam stand ready. It's kind of crappy. My dog dies to his dog for free. Really? That doesn't seem worth it. So, if I go with Arcane Golem, he goes to 6 next turn for mana, and that means Fire Elemental. But, this is already a good Fire Elemental target, so... My hand has a lot of burst, so I'm just gonna go for it. It's 10 damage right there. He needs Lightning Storm, basically, if he Fire Elementals this. That's another 10 coming towards him next turn. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty dependent on him not having that card. He can't fire elemental though. So it should slow him down a bit. And shamans don't have heal either. I haven't really seen them play heal bot at all, but this guy could be. Okay, I have 10 in my hand. Damn. Really? Okay. If he really doesn't have heal, he's dead. I mean, yes, yeah, silence does it, but... What kind of silence does Shaman run? Do we got him? Please say we got him. We got him? No! <sighs> Since when do Shamans run heal bot? At the exact time he needed it to. Yeah, it's over. God damn it. Ah. Heal bot, man. I think that's probably his only heal in the deck as well. Yeah, that's uh, a GG. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking of including a light bomb, because when I just lose momentum like this, they usually build up their board very strong, and then I can just light bomb and completely clear. Because, you know, he has his whole board full and I have nothing on my side, so... I wonder. 
It can be a dead card in certain situations, though. So I'm not sure. Yeah, if my next if my if my next draw is dead, I'm just going to quit. I'll probably do one more game after this and then call it. Yeah, mind blast. So close. Yeah, I think this will be our last one. It seems to be the consensus of this deck is uh, just about so close again so far. It's so demoralizing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume this is Mech Mage. Emold 2. I actually don't like the pain. The pain feels too slow in this matchup. Not bad. Hello, hello. I'm getting everything off quicker than he is. Please go face. If he goes face, I silence it and just toss six more damage at him. Good. Everything on my side is a 2-1, so I really don't care what he trades. If he does. Damn. I was thinking about that, but... I wasn't sure if it was worth trading. I guess I should have traded one for it. I do have double holy fire, and he should have no heal. The issue is surviving that long. Okay, double holy fire. Yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have traded with the Annoy a Tron anyway. What does he have? He has 8, 12. Uh, he left a 12. I have to holy fire that to stay alive. If I Holy Fire face next turn and play the Lepernome, that's still 7 damage. But he has Fireball, yeah. Again, so close. I should have traded with the Anoyatron though. Anyway, that's a, a look at Shadow Bomber. I might revisit it in the future, but right now it seems like a fairly stable deck. It doesn't do bad. I had a lot of close games with staple net decks, so anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next episode.